lovely on drive. My goodness. Thumped it away, Gale. It's as good a shot as we've seen in the game. Hoggard looking for that full length delivery again, swinging back into the pads. Chris Gale this time decisive, coming forward into the shot. And down through the gap between third slip and gully for four. Beats the bat for the first time. Smith feeling for it. It's still a pretty good pitch, but it is a fourth day pitch. You might just get irregularities like this. Just look at the steep bounce there. Catch it! Out court. Graham Thorpe. Early loss again. Once more, Gale goes cheaply. It's 13 for one. It's a flash and out. Good pressure by England's opening bowlers here. Harmison and Hoggard. Gale flashes at the ball. It's Graham Thorpe at third slip who clings on. Not the tallest at slip. Chris Gale on his way back to the pavilion for nine. West Indies 13 for one. Giving him out. Sawan goes for a double duck in the test match. What a start for England. West Indies spectators not happy with this. Let's have a close look. He's off his toes. Is it going over the top? Look how he's shoveled across into his stumps. He's gone for a duck again. None and none in this uh, first test match. West Indies 13 for two. Well, it's rolled back onto the stumps. Harmison picks up another wicket. West Indies in uh, dire straits now, they still trail by 13. They've lost three second innings wickets. Just feel it's extra bounce again. Hustle on to Shibner and Chan the ball. We saw Chris Gill play on in the first innings off the very same ball of Harmison. He's on fire. He's enthusiastic. He's been very accurate this morning. He's created pressure and he's given England so far the upper hand. Chan the ball is gone for naught. 15 for three. This batting experience isn't going to be pleasant for Brian Lara. He's got a damaged finger. There's that jump again from Ho Hoggard. He's gone as well. Fantastic stuff from Hoggard and Harmison. Lara goes for a duck. It's a good delivery. It's been a top over. He's had Lara very uncertain. A little bit of extra bounce, a little bit of movement away, and that's a very good catch. It's as easy as it comes for Andrew Flintoff. At least that's the way he made it look. West Indies are 16 for four. Harmison to Smith. And that somehow gets through that slip cordon. Four slips in the gully now. Well, that's cordon bold. Everything going England's way. Smith can't believe he's done that. West Indies are still seven runs adrift here. Not quite to the pitch, just hit the inside half of the bat. And Smith's uh, gone for 12, 21 for five. That's a good shot. The West Indies will need a lot of that if they are going to have a semblance of a chance in this test match. Straight down the ground this time. That's the Ridge Jacobs that everyone has grown accustomed to. Always looking for the positive. It's gone straight up and caught. Could not evade it on this occasion, Ridley Jacobs. Just have a look at this. Tucking him up, no room. Getting big on him again, straight off the hand, up in the air. Nasser Hussain, I'm going to have that one. Doesn't come much easier than that at short leg. He takes it. Sixth wicket's gone. Ridley Jacobs for 15. It's 2.41 for six. Got him! Gone. That's five wickets for Steve Harmison. Good bowling this. 
Puts away the ball to the tailenders. They don't like it in there. Well, good players don't. Tailenders hate it. And England in a very healthy position, leading West Indies by just 13. It's 41 for seven. I am absolutely sure this is the first time I've ever seen a field like this with England in the field. Edged and dropped. And Graham Thorpe, you would never believe it. He doesn't drop many. I'd say that he took a great catch early on. They don't really come much better, easier than this though. Look at that. It's the most comfortable height you could possibly want. Gotcha, yeah! There's another edge. Eight wickets down now for the West Indies. Yeah, it's very close to the end. Not quite there for the drive, but a good line, good disciplined line from uh, Jones. A little too wide, and not full enough for Hines to be playing the type of shot, but the pressure told on Ryan Hines. West Indies, very close to the end, 43 for eight. Yeah! Very easily for us to stop it at first slip, who's made that look uh, supremely easy. No feet involved in this shot, but uh, a low catch comfortably taken. And Brian Lara will be very, very disconsolate. 43 for nine. That'll do it. Tescothic takes the catch. Harmison becomes the most successful bowler ever at Tabina Park. What a magnificent effort from him. 12 overs and three balls. Eight maidens, no less. Seven wickets for 12. And 47 all out becomes the lowest ever West Indies total. Good pace, better control, excellent stamina. World-class bowling from uh, the Durham Paceman. England only need 20 to win. Well, no one expected this on the fourth morning at Sabina Park. West Indies bowled out for 47, just two men into double figures, five men failing to register. It was a supreme performance by the England bowlers. Look at the figures, wonderful figures for uh, Steve Harmison. Career best figures for him, 12.3 overs, eight maidens, seven for 12.